when Mark goes off to Menalai weekends, it's uh, always a bit stressful back here in the family and there's lots of sacrifices that have to be made. And when he first started going, I was maybe a little resentful of the fact that he was going off for a weekend and leaving me alone with three beautiful but very energetic children. <laughs> um, but I quickly came to realise that the sacrifice that we were making was completely worth it because when Mark would come home from the Men Alive weekends, he was almost like a new man. Even though he was physically tired, he was rejuvenated spiritually, he um, had so much more energy to give back to the kids and back to myself. Um, he was more willing to engage in prayer with us, it didn't seem like so much of a chore. It was, yeah, it was almost like he was re-energised in so many different ways. You know, we see, we see the damage of, of um, broken families and, and kids that are disconnected from their parents and, and it's really destructive on a society. So if men alive can impact the men to go and impact his family. Dad's always been going away on weekends and um, running the Men Alive weekends in all across Australia. So yeah, I think um, as a kid, it's really good to see your parents doing what they love and um, helping others. So that's been really good for me. It's been inspiring. Shalom world, I'm Robert Falzon. And my name is Peter Shagovskoy. We're from Men Alive, we're the co-founders of Men Alive. We started Men Alive to reach men in the church and outside the church with the gospel of Jesus the Lord. And today we want to introduce you to the way that God has called us, the things we've tried along the way to reach men in the modern world, and the story of grace. I guess I got uh, drawn into Men Alive when the Queensland leaders of Men Alive came down to Hobart to run a weekend down there and I guess two things happened. One was that I was very impressed by what they did at a personal level. Uh, it, it really uh, gave my own faith a kick along and gave me some very practical things that I could do. But the other thing was that it inspired me to understand that this was something that I and other laymen could do to help uh, in the church uh, in a very practical way using the skills that we had. So all of a sudden I felt released in terms of uh, a ministry in the church. Men Alive is a national Catholic ministry to men, which was founded out of response to a great need in the hearts and lives of men and a great need in the life of the Catholic Church. The purpose of Men Alive is to bring men together to renew their faith in God and to encourage them to become an active force of renewal in the church. Through a variety of events and programs, men are invited to explore what God would want for their lives and how they might come to experience the fullness of life. Men Alive was founded in 2003 by Robert Falzen, Peter Shikovskoy and a small group of laymen. Men Alive has now run more than 350 events in 26 dioceses throughout Australia and New Zealand for in excess of 20,000 men. Over the last 14 years, Men Alive has developed and experimented with a variety of products or variety of offerings. A good friend of mine um, encouraged me to go to a Men Alive weekend and I came up with every excuse known to man not to go to that Men Alive weekend. I, I did have a work commitment. I probably could have got out of it, but I, tr I chose to use that as an excuse. And he persisted and, uh, and I, I thank God that he did persist. Uh, and I eventually relented and decided to go to that Men Alive weekend. It was a regional Victorian Men Alive weekend. And uh, I came away from that a changed person, absolutely changed and uh, arrived back at my home in Moama on the Sunday night and, uh, and my children greeted me at the door and my wife and they said, um, how did it go? And I said, I'm alive, I'm alive. 
and uh, and that was literally how I felt. It, I was just filled with so much um, love and enthusiasm and spirit. So it, it changed my life, it really changed my life. The flagship event for the Men Alive ministry is the Men Alive Parish Weekend. Men Alive teams work in partnership with parishes throughout Australia and New Zealand to run these weekends. The program that's been honed over the past years delivers relevant talks and personal testimonies, opportunity for discussion in small groups, and most importantly, it provides the space and environment for men to reflect. The experience of men gathering together at a Men Alive weekend or event is dynamic and powerful. The result is that for many men, they're inspired, encouraged, and feel they have a new sense of purpose and mission. The Men Alive Parish Base Weekend is the weekend that we began with. It's a day and a half program designed to reach men who are actually in parishes, who need a renewal experience. Often the feedback comes back from their, from their wives and from their families saying, whatever you did with my man on the weekend, keep going because he's a different man. He's a new man. change in your life when you went to these weekends what did you change to make yourself a better man well I actually asked my wife this morning and said okay uh, well what transformation has changed for me because I asked myself the question and she said to me uh, look when you come from from men alive the max you were transformed They're like you so you had this inner strength you got this um, uh, courage you you uh, courage to be yourself you just um, you just in um, a lot of um, faith and uh, just a good man like uh, you're more patient with the kids yeah, more loving uh, more loving you and become a good man good, a good a, husband a good husband men alive to the max is a national catholic men's event it's a great way to listen learn and grow in what god might say to us it builds on the parish based weekends the Max Experience offers an opportunity to deepen our understanding of God's call and challenge within our lives, with men travelling from all over Australia and New Zealand to attend. So what was your experience and how did that affect you and your family and your work? And well, I think um, the, the Men Life to the Max is, is something that very intentional in creating a space for men yes. uh, for, for uh, the work of God to happen in. Yes. Um, you, you really push back all of the, I guess, the, the pressures and, and the, the everyday life that's happening to people and, and create that space. And uh, well, I guess what the Men Alive team do is, is, is very courageously and, and, and vulnerably walk through that space. Growing Good Men is a weekend for fathers and their teenage sons. It invites both of them to explore what it means to be a man in today's world. A man who's alive, real and courageous, who knows purpose and meaning, a man who isn't afraid of the adventure, who longs for the quest, will fight for beauty and stand firm in the battle with honour and integrity. This Growing Good Men experience over two days and two nights is life transforming. We have many fathers and sons who come on the weekend, strangers, and go home close, friends, committed to walking together. You just recently have taken your son uh, all the way from Gold Coast to Melbourne to do a Growing Good Men weekend yes. with your teenage son. Yeah. Now, how did that go? Oh, that was fantastic. I think this was a window of opportunity. Like I, I heard about the um, Growing a Good Man um, weekend uh, a while ago, and I said, like, oh, I'm so willing to do it. Yeah. And there was an opportunity to uh, to really to connect with my son as I would never ever connect before like my son just said to me dad I know you I know you now so I think this is after the weekend after the weekend this is Matteo Matteo dad I know you now I know you now wow. I know who you are and um, that was 
it, it was fantastic. Like since then, our connection is, is special. You know, we still have, we still fight. Yeah, we are human. <laughs> we, was, we fight, but he, he, at some point, he, um, we go back to that point where we know each other. You know, there's a special connection. Father, son. You know, like I, I acknowledge him for for being a man. You know, and there's no price. And, and he acknowledged me. There was a, um, a, mu a mutual. Uh, acknowledgement, Father and Son. Yes. That was just unbelievable. Like, uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful. Men Alive in the City is an opportunity for men to get together and explore the things that matter. Men are invited to set aside some time each month to engage in a search for authenticity and meaning and to support one another in that journey. Men Alive in the City. Recognising that a lot of professional men work in the city and are used to going to Twilight seminars what we, what we did over a period of months was monthly have a short, from a five o'clock to seven o'clock, outreach to men who work in offices in the city. So they can come at five o'clock, they can meet a group of men, they can get some succinct input and then be home uh, on their way again at seven o'clock. Men Alive Extreme is a weekend initially designed for 18 to 30 year old men, which explores how we deal with adversity and challenge in our physical and spiritual lives through a wide variety of extreme activities. This event has now been developed for senior high schools and forms an integral element of their personal development experience. Men Alive Extreme is a program designed to reach uh, young men who are vigorous, so between 18 and 30. It's adventure based. We take young men off to an adventure park and in reaching them through their physicality, uh, we also then create a space where we can reach them about character and about spirituality. So Shem, now that you're a man, you're growing up, you're nearly 20, you have your own life. You have your own life. <laughs> uh, you, you're starting to do things that belong to you and you have your own journey. Mm. How, how is your faith affected by, by me, my men alive, the way mum and I live? We go to church every week um, and I think that's quite important. Um, I, I get my, the structure of my faith obviously from you. Yeah. Definitely I would say. When you come back from a weekend uh, it's it's good to see a proper example um, of how a man should act and how a man should act spiritually. The Catholic Man Breakfast Series is hosted by the Archbishop and is an opportunity for men to gather and be encouraged and inspired in their faith. The breakfasts feature dynamic speakers and an opportunity to discuss important issues with other men who are seeking to embrace the gospel and make a difference in our world today. The Catholic Man Breakfast Series is a gathering of men under the auspices usually of the local archbishop. We host a breakfast uh, at, at a venue, at a, at a good venue in the city. Uh, we gather notable speakers from the professional community usually uh, or from um, men of some profile in the church. Uh, so we've had archbishops, we've had leading sportsmen, uh, we've had leading businessmen, people who have got a, a powerful professional and personal story, uh, and then people who also have a, pro a powerful spiritual story. Uh, we have a, a really excellent business breakfast together, and they share their story and their testimony. One of the blessings of, uh, of being working in ministry with other good men is that you're around good men. Um, a lot of men don't have mates, a lot of men don't have brothers, and I've got a lot of guys, you know, I've got five guys that are my go-to guys, and, and they, uh, they know me, they know me well, they challenge me, they've got my back, and, uh, and they encourage me, they encourage me, they recognise the gifting that I have, uh, there's a couple of gifts, you know, there, and they, and they challenge me to use my gifts, and I think that's that's a great fruit, a great uh, outcome of brotherhood is when uh, you flourish as a, as a as a person. So one of the things that we've learned about men in 14 years is is that a man's sexuality and his maleness is a primary driver in his humanity. Many many men in the world today, young and old, struggle with their sexuality. When a man fails, fails in his relationship with God, it's usually in the area of his sexuality, his morality. Many men fall these days in the area of pornography and their 
their inability to stay whole and real and credible before God. So they hide from God and then run away like Adam did in the garden. So we run a program called Sex, Intimacy and the Search for Wholeness. The blessing of the bikes. Uh, one of our young uh, team members who's a passionate biker came up with the idea that once a year uh, we would ask the local cathedral to, to host a, the beginning of a bike ride. The dean of the cathedral comes and blesses the bikers for the year. There are a lot of men who won't come to an overtly religious function but uh, a, a gathering of bikers who have a barbecue breakfast together, receive a blessing, then do a bike ride and finish, and then again with a, with a barbecue together, is something that everyone comes to, commonly in Australia. And sometimes we only see these men once a year at the Blessing of the Bike event, but it's still reaching men. Once a year, once a year, once a year, 10 years we build relationships with these men, and one day, one day when the Holy Spirit taps the man on the shoulder, he will find a way, there'll be a bridge big enough built that he can find a way back, find a way back to church and back to men, back to God. The Good Man Project is an online resource seeking to support men as they seek to grow in faith, integrity and conviction. It grew out of many requests from men who have attended Men Alive events who are looking for reflection material which was relevant to their lives and nourishing to their spirits. The Good Man Project is an online resource about Christian discipleship. So we've crafted on the web um, some resources that uh, are the basic building, teaching around the basic building blocks of the Christian life. How do you pray? How do you read the scriptures and derive benefit? Uh, how do you build character? Uh, how do you relate well, again, to, to wives and women? How to be a better father? Uh, so we've tried to build a place with internet resources that men can go to reference uh, and get the teaching that they need. Lewis, I'd like to uh, just hear from you about how your experience of Men Alive and your journey with Men Alive has affected your life and your family. Oh, well, you know, the, the journey of um, Men Alive has been part of me for the last ooh, 13 odd years. 13 years. Uh, since about 2004, I came along to um, one of the retreats that you guys uh, had so many years ago now. So it's done a lot for me as a person um, in terms of, I guess, as a family man where um, it's inspired me to do a lot, thing, lot of things for my family in terms of being a better father for my children. Give me an example of what that means in practicality. Well, I guess, you know, I, I've made the time and effort to um, engage more and more with my daughters um, and, and uh, to be a good husband as well to Lisa, my wife. So. Just let me see what the girls would say about that. Chelsea, what about your dad? Has he been more involved in your life since he's... He's been very supportive with all my activities and things. He helps me with schoolwork. And just recently, we won our netball grand final. And was and Daddy there? Yep, he was on the side line, on the sidelines shouting support. Shouting, yeah, yep. <laughs> jumping up and down, <laughs> yeah. And Sharice, what about you? Well, how has your dad been supportive of you and uh, been, a, been a better father because of his work involvement in mental life? He supports me in many ways, like with my schooling life and my religious life especially. Um, he supports me in what I want to study. He's always giving me daily affirmations. It's really supportive to me and it's just helping me grow to be a young Catholic woman. Young Catholic woman? Yeah. And your involvement in church has been uh, strengthened by your father? Yeah, he's encouraged me to join youth groups. Youth groups? Um, I'm a part of the Sunnybank Unite youth group. Oh yes, it's big, it's a yeah. big group. Yeah. yeah, so I've got a community that I can grow with and he takes me there like every week. I'm a lot of- He drives of, you there? Yeah, he drives me there. What and a good dad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
of a man fully alive. St. Irenaeus had a famous saying, the glory of God is man fully alive. In uh, St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, we're told that Paul kneels before the Father, praying that our hidden self will grow strong through the power of the Holy Spirit, which is given to us through the grace of baptism. A wonderful movement of being able to die with Christ and rise with him in glory. This is the most magnificent movement in history. Thank you for joining us. We hope that our story, the Men Alive story, has encouraged you and inspired you. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Are you hungry for a lasting relationship? Are you thirsty for the drink that never runs out? Are you tired of television that numbs the mind and distorts the truth? Hunger, thirst and tire no more. Get ready for an exciting new culture in media. After conquering the hearts of millions of viewers in the United States and Europe, Shalom World Television Network is now available in Australia. 24-7, high-definition, commercial-free Catholic family channel, Shalom World invites Australia into a deeper experience with Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, and His Church. Do not be afraid. Endorsed by Catholic leaders from around the world, Shalom World is redefining the meaning of entertainment, changing media to heal your past, guide your present, and shape your future. Shalom World features vibrant programs designed for the whole family, including talk shows, powerful preaching, youth and young adult conferences, children's programs, movies, music, Bible studies, interviews, live papal visits, and much more. Change what you watch and watch the world change with Shalom World.